hi and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about my goals for July 2021 and go over what happened with my goals for June 2020-21. But first of all, I'd like to welcome anybody new here or any new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you for joining. And if you are new here, um, we do talk about subjects related to agoraphobia, but we also talk about subjects related to makeup. And if you are interested in either of those subjects, or both of those subjects, then I highly recommend you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and set it to all so that you are notified every time that I upload a video. Okay, that is said and done. So, we can get into the meat of the video. If you just hold right on, I will be right back. Okay, so it is no secret because according to my name, that I am agoraphobic. And my goals kind of center around me doing exposure therapy. So this last month in June, I challenged myself to go out to the drugstore twice this last month with my husband so and I did that I went out once with him and just us and then the second time I made a video log of it where I posted it on my channel and everything went fine um I was doing just fine. I didn't have any kind of anxiety attacks or anything. I think mainly it was due to the fact that there were little to no people there. It really helped that. So... Yeah, my goals for this month, though, are kind of the same, but with one change. I am going to the drugstore twice this month, and I am going to go in by myself without Aaron, because, as you saw in the vlog, we were kind of goofing around and looking at things and um, he made me feel really comfortable being there so and that was the case with the first time that I went in there too so I think it's going to be a lot harder going in by myself. He's going to be in the car outside of the Walgreens or CVS, whichever we go to. Where I live, the CVS and the Walgreens are right next to each other. So I can pick to go into one or the other. I really liked the Walgreens because they had a better makeup section. But, um... That's neither here or there, but I'll probably go back to Walgreens if I had my choice. And um, I'm probably going to vlog one of my visits, probably my second visit. But I'm going to have to put background music in again because of the copyright claim that I got last time. Not that I've monetized or anything. I just don't want to have that 
um, hanging over my head. And yeah, I think it'll be a lot more challenging for me to do that. And the next couple of months will involve the drugstore and um, how many times I go in, unless I can think of a new... I'm going to sit down and think about it, unless I can think of a new goal. Because near the end of the year, my big goal is to go to the grocery store where there is lots of people and uh, make a trip, a small trip by myself. And, you know, I'll make more goals next year, like driving goals and such and so like that. I don't have any driving goals set for myself this year. We also had a little trouble with the pharmacy. I know this is kind of off topic. But um, I'm going down on one of my medications. And I will make a video of that, about how that has affected me. But I just started last night going down on my... Um, it's like Abilify, but it's called Geodone, and how my progress is going with that, and that will be something to look forward to, I guess. It'll be part of my med series. But part of my goals is to kind of go down on that medication so I am not as dependent on that medication. So that's another thing. That's another goal that I have set for myself is to go down on that medication. And so here and now I'm saying I started on, I guess I was on 240 milligrams of it. And now I am down to 160 milligrams of it. So instead of taking three pills of 80 milligrams, I'm only taking two pills of 80 milligrams. So, and these are the pills that help me sleep at night, too. So, I'm kind of worried about that, but, um, I also take my clonazepam to help me sleep. But she wants me to kind of taper off on those two, which I'm kind of worried about doing that because I am kind of addicted to taking those. I only take one and a half in the morning and one and a half at night. But she wants me to start taking them only as I need them. But I'm just going to start going down on my geodone first before I start backing off of my clonazepam. Okay, just didn't have to do anything with this topic, but it is part of my goal series, is my medication goals too. So I'm going to start going in Probably not this weekend. Well, probably the second and the last weekend of this month. 
I might do it. I'm not sure. Or the first or the third weekend. I don't really know. But we do have our live stream that we are doing on Saturday. So I'm just telling you now, just to be ready for it. It is on the 3rd, and I know they do all the fireworks on the 3rd. Whether you're going to plan to go out, good for you if you are, because I am planning to go out with my parents. But that is after the live stream. The live stream is early for any U.S. time zones. It's at 7 Central, and... So, the latest time zone is 8 Eastern, so there shouldn't be any fireworks going on before then. And, um, yeah, I invite you to my live stream. I was very lonely at my last one, but that's okay. Me and Erin seem to... <laughs> we always keep each other entertained. And that's all for that I have for you today. If you are new here, I do do agoraphobic material on Mondays and Fridays. Um, but this the next couple of Fridays, I'm doing story time videos. And um, I do makeup material on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And Saturdays, I do a chatty Saturday series where I just talk about my week and such and what I've been doing and how my goals have been going and such and so forth on that and that is it please like this video if you did like it um, it really helps my channel out even if you didn't like it go ahead and give it a down vote because that still helps my channel out. And um, what else? What helps help my channel out is leaving a comment down below. If you are new here, I love to meet you. And also, just have a wonderful day out there. And if you are having a bad day, well, I hope this cheered you up a little bit. And if not, I hope your day does get better somehow. And if you are having a hard time out there, I hope it gets better for you. And I know we all have rough patches. Just remember to stay strong and stay healthy and stay safe. And I'm always here for you, <laughs> if that helps. And drop me a DM or a comment or anything if you want to just talk. And for now, I will bid you goodbye. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, goodbye.